Question number three. State two measurements that should be taken for one to decide whether a reed acid accumulator is due for charging and you get two marks. So reed acid accumulator is a device that is used in charging or uh, to provide uh, electric power in a vehicle which we commonly say called the battery, the car battery. And this is an example of a car battery. So these are the terminal. We have the positive and the negative terminals. Uh, so what do we need to to so this is a uh, acid uh, we can give it a name uh, read acid accumulator in common language we call it a battery car, like car battery these are the terminals Uh, so with that, what we need to measure uh, is uh, one is a PD, the, the e EMF. Uh, one is a EMF, electromotive force across its terminal, across its terminal, across its terminals. Uh, which we can say is the voltage. We check the voltage uh, or we say the PD uh, across. The other thing that we need to measure is rel the relative density. The relative density. The relative density uh, of the electrolyte. Let's correct that erect electrolyte uh, or we can say density of acid of acid uh, which we are we also call electro right this is electro right so in this uh, lead acid accumulator or the battery there are there are there is acid in this cell this is one cell two three four five there are six cell. one two three four five six so there are acid which we also refer to as a electrolyte we need to check if it is low uh, then it means that the density if the density is low uh, that is uh, the if the density is a uh, 1.28 1.28 uh, then uh, it uh, that is uh, to say the density ranges from uh, 1.28 to 1.15 so at 1.28 uh, that is uh, this is a density range Uh, this we say it is fully charged. Uh, if it is a uh, 1.15 or below, uh, it is discharged. So need to be charged. Uh, the item that is used to do that is known as hydrometer. Uh, hydrometer we have a uh, looks like this so this is a hydrometer it is you 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 drew out the uh, acid or electrolyte from the terminals uh, from the this uh, cups here we open the cup you draw and you'll be able to see uh, to get the density using this uh, uh, this hydrometer uh, so this is a hydrometer uh, that is used anyway that is just extra information uh, what you need to do is the first thing that you measure is emf across its terminals or voltage or potential difference across uh, the other one is the relative density of the electrolyte uh, density of the acid so that is up to there you are okay you'll be able to get two marks but it is important also to understand 
uh, where we are uh, get, uh, deriving these answers. So that's how you answer question number three.